Hey what is up guys it is technology hell back here welcome back to another video in my today's video i'll be showing you guys that how can you set up the streaming software on your computer and straight away start live streaming those of you who are thinking to start live streaming on youtube twitch mixer or facebook live you definitely had the doubt in your head that how should i start streaming playing the game is somewhat really easy but it is really difficult to set up the streaming software but let me tell you it is not that difficult in my today's video I'll take as less time as possible and give you all the details about setting up live stream to your computer. For that, we are going to use the most popular streaming software, the OBS, Open Broadcast Software. This software is open and free to all, so anyone can download it, modify it and republish it. It's absolutely fine. But there is a better version which is the Streamlabs OBS, the same version of OBS but modified by Streamlabs especially targeting gamers in order to improve their streaming experience and the quality of their live streams so you can just go to their website streamlabs.com and straight away download the setup for streamlabs so the download of streamlabs obs setup is done so let's quickly run the setup and install the streamlabs obs broadcasting software straight onto our system so this is how the setup interface will look to you all just click on I agree and then just click on install and there your Streamlabs OBS is being installed on your computer. So the installation of Streamlabs OBS is successful and Streamlabs have been installed on our system. So without wasting much time, let's quickly begin with the tutorial. Okay, so let's quickly launch Streamlabs OBS. So once you open the Streamlabs, you will get an option to sign in with your account and choose your platform where you are going to stream. So if you are going for YouTube, just click on it and then just wait for a few seconds until your browser opens up. And here it will ask you to sign in with your YouTube account, the account on which your YouTube channel is associated. So mine is this one, so I'll just click on my account. And then I just need to select the channel on which I'll be streaming. And then within a few minutes, it will connect to my Google account and then start the Streamlabs platform for me. So we have successfully associated our YouTube account with Streamlabs. So no need of the browser anymore. So here you will get the second option where you need to choose whether you want to import your settings from the standard OBS or you wish to start fresh. I recommend you to start with a fresh account. Here you need to set up your microphone and your webcam. So I'll not be setting up any webcam and my microphone will be there by default. And then just click on continue. And here we are on the fourth step. I don't know why there's nothing on the screen. So we just need to click on skip. And after clicking on skip, you will be taken to the final screen of the Streamlabs where you will get a scene something like this. On the top of the screen you will find a black box which is the screen of your Streamlabs where you can see how your stream is gonna look like. In the middle you can see the mini feed which shows the names of the subscribers who have subscribed your channel in the last few days. On the left hand side you can find many quick access buttons like settings, exit, split screen, multi stream, shop, store, themes and a lot more. Then on the bottom of the screen you will find three parts. The first is the section of scenes where you need to import your scenes and create new ones. The section of sources where you import the particles of your screen like the game capture screen, the button for making donations, the number which you will provide for making donations, the box where you will get to see the charts, the animated screen which you get when new person subscribes to your channel and many more things like that. On the right hand side you have your mixer where you can adjust your audio. The first one is your desktop audio which is present by default and the second one is your mic or aux which you are using for the voice over. So in order to start streaming the first thing which you are going to provide is the, going to be your intro. Right. So let's just rename the default one which is scenes. Let's rename it to intro and start working on it. So now come to the section of sources and then just click on add source. Choose media source and then just click on add this is going to be our intro for the stream and then just click on add source now you will get this screen on your screen and then just click on browse 
and here you need to select your intro which will be the intro for your live streams so I have this one made for PUBG as I'm going to stream only PUBG all over my channel maybe someday I'll switch to some other games and then you just need to click on done you can make an intro for your own by featuring any of the game which you will be streaming or anything that you feel like it's completely up to you that how you design your intro for designing intros you can just go to Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects and if not you can also use mobile apps like Kindmaster and Cyberlink Power Director. So this is our screen for the intro. My intro has a pre-built background music present there. So the sound for the intro is present here. So I can just control the sound of the intro if needed. But when the intro is going on, the first thing you need to keep in your mind is that you mute your speakers as well as you mute your microphone. Otherwise whatever sound is going on in your room will be captured and sent to the stream while your stream intro is going on. So that's it for the intro. Now let's create a new scene where we'll be giving our gameplay. So this will be our game screen. And then just click on done. And here we are in the game screen scene. Now come to sources. For your game screen you definitely need to capture your screen and then just cast it into the streamlabs. So here we will choose display capture and then just click on add source. So here you will get the option to choose your monitor. If you have only one monitor just choose that one and then click on done. Adjust and make any adjustments if necessary and then just fit it on the screen. So here we are with the gameplay. The gameplay is there so whatever games are going on on your screen the way you are getting to see it your viewers will also get to see it in the same manner. So only the gameplay is not going to be sufficient in a live stream isn't it? You need to bring chats, notification and alerts. So let's bring them onto our screen. So go click on the add button and then in the section of widgets just click on alert box and then click add source. So this is our alert box which will be giving all the alerts like subscriber, donation, special super chats or anything included in that. So don't make any disturbance to the settings present there and then just click on add. Then you will get this alert box on your stream screen. Just select it and resize it according to your needs and then just place it in a place which is comfortable to you. Let's check if the alert box is working or not. Just click on the alert box and then just go to test widgets and then let's check it for subscriber. So just click on subscriber and here you can see this zombie is running with the name of the subscriber. So it will show something like this. Let's check for membership. So it will be like this. Let's check the donations. John donated rupees 44. I have set it to the Indian currency, but if you feel like you can just set it to anything which is going to suit you best. And you can also get your super chats out here. So that's it for the alert box. If you want your viewers chat to be visible on your screen all the time, so you can just click on the add button and then just add the chat box on your game capture. But in, go for the settings for the chat box, just scroll down and then this you can see the timer showing always show messages, reduce the timer to about 35 seconds so that one message stays on the screen for only 35 seconds. Otherwise it will stay on your stream for the whole period and will spoil it. So just make adjustments to the chat box and then place it at any of the corners of your screen. So this is our screen for the game overlay. The gameplay will be recorded. The alert box is present which will let the viewers know if anyone has subscribed or made any donations. But let me tell you if you are a new YouTuber and you are watching this video then you will have the doubt no one is going to make me any donations until and unless I am monetized. Let me tell you that in Streamlabs there is no thing called monetized. People can make you donations even if you have started streaming just today. You just need to go to the website of streamlabs.com and then configure your donation details, collect your PayPal account or your bank account in order to receive all your donations and then they will give you a link from where people can donate you. So you just need to provide that link in the description and then you can start receiving donations. So that's it how you are going to receive donations and the super chat is also going to work in the same manner. People will make donations with a custom message and that message will be coming up on your screen out here. Something like this, donated rupees 14, 
through super chat and then the message will be present at the bottom so that's how your super chat is going to work without thousand subscribers isn't it interesting okay let's move to the next part where we'll be making the part which will include the same games recording screen but in a little bit different manner let me rename it to layout game screen and then click on done the same thing like previous one will add the display capture we will fit it on our screen then we will add the super chat box which is the alert box make sure you insert your alert box in each and every scene of your stream so that your viewers messages are never missed out but in this one i won't want like to install the chat box so we'll stay it with only the gameplay and the alert box now we'll bring a little bit change which will be the donations box so just go to add and then click on image and click on add source and now you need to choose which image you feel like inserting just click on browse and go and browse the image which you feel like to insert so i'll be inserting this one paytm google pay and the phone number present below it so that people can make donations if they use paytm and google pay they can straight away make donations out here so the box will come up on your screen make it small or big according to your needs and then just keep it in a place which is perfect and not going to disturb your game screen right your game content should not be covered up with this box okay so now let's move to the next one where we'll be inserting an animated transition so just click on add new scene it will be the overlay overlay game so just click on done and now let's add the display capture resize it if needed and then just add your alert box and there we are the new thing which will be including in this is just click on add button go to image add source and now i'll be bringing a new overlay onto the stream screen so just click on add source click on browse and then choose which image you feel like inserting so i have this image out here named as top layer so this is how it will look on the stream screen my name in the middle instagram and facebook handles twitter and discord handles and then just click on done now make the adjustment to the image if needed and it's perfect on the screen so this will be an overlay on the screen so that people can come to know how to connect with you on other platforms like facebook insta twitter or discord so these three are the game screens which can be switched from time to time giving a bit different in the look a little bit of variation so that people don't get bored with the same old layout so now let's bring a brb scene let me just tell you brb it means be right back suppose in middle of the stream you need to go to have some water eat something or someone has come to disturb you and you are going to solve out the problem with him or her so you can just keep the brb active so just click on add source in brb go to media source add add a new source instead brb video and then just click on add source click on browse and now give the video which you would like to provide for brb so i have this video out here which will show be right back and start giving my viewers a bit of confidence that the streamer is not yet offline and is going to be back soon if your video is a bit small one and you might be off for a few minutes extra than the video then you just need to click on this button loop loop means that your video will start and end and again it will start from the beginning it means that your video will keep repeating until and unless you stop it so just click on done adjust the brb screen on your layout and that's it the brb is back on the screen let's bring the alert box so that if someone subscribes in middle of the brb the subscription message is not missed out and just click on add source so that's the brb 
we have created intro, 3 game layouts, the BRB screen and now it's time to sign off from the live stream by giving an end outro. So for the ending we'll be creating a video file which will be something similar to the intro so just click on add, media source, add source and now just import a new file and then just click on add source. Now browse for your file which you are going to use. So I have this outro out here. So I'll be using this one for the end of my stream. So let's just adjust the outro on our stream screen. And it's done. I have a little bit of background music going on in my outro. So the outro music can be controlled from here. I can reduce the volume of it or increase it according to the needs or the situation. And with that we are ready with the streaming software with everything placed in place. Now there is a small trick for people those who don't want to work so long in making so many things is that you can just use a pre-built layout. So for that just click on the themes button out here. So here the theme site has opened up. You can just scroll down and then choose any theme which you feel like. If you are ready to spend money then you can find premium themes with lots of good graphics and lots of features present inside them which will include each and everything. But you can also find lots of free themes you just need to spend a bit of time and find which one is going to suit you the best. So you can just choose the themes, install them on your system and a theme is going to provide you everything. Let me just show you one of my favorites which is Nerd or Die. So these are the themes by Nerd or Die. These are prime themes but still you can just get them for free. The most popular is Uplink which is free of cost and not animated. You can also find some of more which are free of cost but without animations. So you can just choose the theme and then just click on this button install overlay. And once installed it will be launched and you will be brought to the screen. So these are the scenes out here. Stream starting, stream ending, stream be right back, intermission, in-game layout, in-game layout stacks, pre-made label assets and lots of more things. So the first thing you need to do go to the stream starting and you will find this nerdordie.com. This box out here which is creating this trouble on your screen so you can just delete it. Simply press the delete button on your keyboard and you are done. So you can see this your name. Just click on it and the file will be selected. Just double click on the file and then you can adjust your name according to the name of your channel. And there we are. Just click on done and your name will be present there on the screen. Now you can click on add then go to media source and we will add a background music out here. So just click on add source. Let it be the BGM and add source. Now just click on browse and find the music file which you are going to insert. Suppose I'll be using Eclipse. So I'll just select the music file and click on done. So this is our BGM, the music going on. You can see the visualizer is showing changes out here due to the background music which is going on. So when you go live, your screen will be shown like this and the background music will be going on. You can see here lots of more things like your handles for Twitter, Facebook and Discord and your custom message. So you can just select the files and then adjust it according to your needs. Just click on the social button and then just choose how to edit them. You can just change the icon if you feel like. You can change the URL of the channel, the handles and then just make it according to your needs. Then the second one is the stream ending. The names are to be customized once again. Then you have the stream BRB. Again you need to adjust the name of your channel, your handles out here and then let it be there. Then you have this in-game layout. This includes your webcam, your alert box, chat box, handles and lot more. If you are not going to use any webcam, so you can just select the webcam, press on the delete button on your keyboard and then just click OK. Similarly you can find lots of extra things which are not of your needs. Then you can just delete them off and let your stream screen be a bit clear. So in this way you can just adjust all the things with the predefined settings and customize it according to your needs. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found this interesting. If you have any other queries left in your mind, make sure to write down in the comments. I'll surely reply you back. 
and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe as we come up with such awesome content videos every week thanks for watching